What's up? It's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com, and today I'm giving you a barbecue staple side. I'm talking about a skillet cornbread, crispy on the outside, fluffy, rich on the inside, with a pink peppercorn honey butter. I have a feeling this is going to be a go-to for you and your family. I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. For the first step of our skillet cornbread, we need to preheat our smoker. I'm gonna be doing this on a Rectech 1250. I love baking things on the pellet smoker. It gives you a really nice even heat. Little touch of smoke, but not too smoky. You can also do this in your oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the smoker is preheated, I'm gonna pop in a 12 inch cast iron skillet so that can start preheating as well. This is gonna give us the nice, crispy, crunchy, golden outside to our cornbread. In a large bowl, I combine the dry ingredients. I start with one and a quarters cup yellow cornmeal, three quarters of a cup of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. In a separate smaller bowl, I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients. This is one cup of buttermilk, a third a cup of whole milk, two eggs, and four tablespoons of melted butter. I just wanna whisk those wet ingredients until the egg yolks are broken and it's well combined. You'll see that the butter added to the cold milk will actually tighten up and you'll get these little flecks of butter. That's perfect because those will be evenly distributed through the rest of your batter and you'll get these little melty pockets of butter in your cornbread. Next, I pour the wet ingredients over the dry ingredients and just stir lightly to combine. If there are some small clumps in there, it's totally fine. What you don't wanna do is over mix your batter, just light stirring until it all comes together. Now that the batter's ready, my smoker and my pan are preheated, I'm gonna add four tablespoons of melted butter to my hot skillet and then immediately pour over the mixed batter. Once the batter's in, close the lid on your grill and then turn the heat down to 350 degrees. This is another beautiful part of using a pellet smoker is you can easily drop that temperature down from 425 to 350 don't check on it for at least 30 minutes. It typically takes around 40 minutes to cook, but depending on your elevation, the temperature of your smoker, how long it takes to drop down to 350 degrees, it might bake a little bit quicker. So start checking around 30 minutes. You really want a toothpick to be able to slide in and out of that cornbread without any of the batter sticking to the toothpick. You'll have these nice golden, crispy, crunchy edges, and it should be smooth and matte all the way across the top, no shiny spots or wet spots. While the cornbread is on the smoker and baking, I like to make a pink peppercorn honey butter. Now, regular honey butter is totally delicious, but these pink peppercorns add this magical, floral, lightly spicy pop of flavor that's unbelievable. I actually made this on Barbecue Brawl on the Food Network, and one of my favorite people, Hall of Famer Chris Lilly, said he would put this pink peppercorn honey butter on everything. So take a little bit of time, just try it out. It's so phenomenal. Here's how I make it. I lightly toast about a tablespoon of pink peppercorns in a skillet and then transfer that to eight tablespoons of softened butter. Get that mixed and incorporated and then drizzle over two to three tablespoons of honey. You can taste and see how sweet you like your honey butter. If you want more honey butter, go ahead and add it in. And then you can also add in a nice sprinkle of crunchy salt to just really balance out the flavor. Cornbread is off the smoker. I've got my pink peppercorn honey butter. I'm gonna go pie method today because I know everybody wants a little piece of that outside edge. That's my favorite time of every video. This is the most classic of cornbreads. It's moist, it's dense, but not like chewy dense. It's just like rich and meaningful. This is a meaningful <laughs> cornbread. Plus the crust that you get from cooking it in a skillet. That's how every cornbread should be. I hope you guys use this recipe and put it in your back pocket, especially this pink peppercorn honey butter. It feels bougie, but it's so easy. And I think it just steps it up to the next level. It's a little bit spicy, a little bit fruity, a little bit sweet and savory. It's the perfect topping to a skillet cornbread. You can grab this recipe on heygrillhay.com or on the Hey Grill Hay app where I've got all of my recipes to help you become a backyard barbecue hero. See you next time.